Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about biologically important nucleotides. Nucleotides are structural components of nucleic acids and they have diverse biochemical functions. There are many biologically important nucleotides present in tissues and cells. Let's see some of the biologically important nucleotides. First one is adenosine nucleotides, then guanosine nucleotides, uridine nucleotides, cytidine nucleotides. Adenosine nucleotides, these are ATP, ADP, AMP. Then guanosine nucleotides, it includes GTP, GDP, GMP. Uridine nucleotides, UTP, UDP, UMP. Cytidine nucleotides include CTP, CDP, CMP. In adenosine nucleotides, there will be cyclic AMP, cyclic GMP. Then in guanosine nucleotides, here it is cyclic GMP. Then uridine nucleotides, it will include UDP glucose, UDP galactose, etc. Then in cytidine nucleotides, it includes certain deoxy CDP derivatives of glucose, choline, ethanolamine. Deoxy CDP derivatives of glucose, choline, and ethanolamine. So these are the biologically important nucleotides. So, main important function is this occurs as the integral part of DNA and RNA that is nucleic acids. Coming to ATP that is adenosine triphosphate. ATP is known as energy currency of the cell. Energy currency. That's three phosphate residues, three phosphate residues. In this, uh, the two phosphate residues are high energy phosphates. These are high energy phosphates. On hydrolysis, each releases 7.6 kilocalorie energy and this is utilized for endergonic processes. Endergonic processes. ATP, it is an important source of energy for muscle contraction, then nerve impulse transmission, then transport of nutrients across cell membrane, then for the formation of active methionine, active methionine is S-adenosyl methionine, it is a methyl carrier, S-adenosyl methionine it is a methyl carrier and this uh, ATP it is required for the formation of active methionine that is S-adenosyl methionine. Then it is required for the formation of active sulfate that is phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate. Phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate. It is active sulfate. It is formed from ATP and sulfate. Then ATP is used, used for the synthesis of phosphocreatine from creatine phosphocreatine from creatine then fatty acid from acetyl coa fatty acid from acetyl coa then glucose from pyruvic acid so these are the main functions of atp it is the energy currency of the cell then coming to adp That is adenosine diphosphate. ADP has role as a primary phosphate acceptor in oxidative phosphorylation. Primary phosphate acceptor in oxidative phosphorylation. ADP has effect on control of cellular respiration. Cellular respiration. Then 
muscle contraction and it is an activator of the enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase glutamate dehydrogenase so these are the main functions of adp next one is amp that is adenosine monophosphate amp amp it acts as an activator of certain enzymes for example phosphofructokinase in glycolytic pathway this phosphofructokinase enzyme is uh, inhibited by atp and it is activated by amp it is inhibited by atp and it is activated by amp this uh, amp it also acts as an inhibitor of certain enzymes like fructose 16 fructose 16 bisphosphatase fructose 16 bisphosphatase then adenylosuccinate synthetase adenylosuccinate synthetase so here amp acts as an inhibitor then uh, amp activates phosphorylase b phosphorylase b in muscle and it increases the breakdown of glycogen amp activates phosphorylase b uh, enzyme of muscle and it increases the breakdown of glycogen so these are adenosine nucleotides atp adp amp then next one is guanosine nucleotides guanosine nucleotides gtp that is guanosine triphosphate gtp is required for protein synthesis it is required for for protein synthesis then it has role in gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis then uh, in purine synthesis then in rhodopsin cycle rhodopsin cycle these are the important functions of gtp so this is guanosine nucleotides then uridine nucleotides in uridine nucleotides uridine nucleotides udp glucose that is udpg it is involved in glycogen synthesis udpg in glycogen synthesis it is also required for the interconversion of glucose and galactose in liver glucose and galactose interconversion of glucose and galactose in liver that is udp glucose next one is udp glucuronic acid udp glucuronic acid udp glucuronic acid is used for conjugation and detoxification of bilirubin sterols estrogens etc it is used for conjugation and detoxification and uh, this udp glucuronic acid this used for the biosynthesis of hyaluronic acid then heparin etc so udp glucose and udp glucuronic acid then udp galacturonic acid udp galacturonic acid it is used for the biosynthesis of chondroitin sulfate biosynthesis of chondroitin sulfate so this is uridine nucleotides next one is cytidine nucleotides cytidine nucleotides here cmp acetyl neuraminic acid cmp acetyl neuraminic acid cmp acetyl neuraminic acid is an important precursor of cell wall polysaccharide in bacteria cell wall polysaccharide in bacteria that is cmp acetyl neuraminic acid next one is cmp sialic acid cmp sialic acid it is present in salivary glands and are involved in biosynthesis of salivary mucin salivary mucin then cmp acetyl neuraminic acid cmp sialic acid next one is cdp choline 
then cdp ethanol amine cdp choline cdp ethanol amine and cdp glycerol cdp glycerol these are involved in biosynthesis of phospholipid biosynthesis of phospholipid so that is cited nucleotides then cyclic amp and cyclic gmp that is uh, cyclic nucleotides cyclic nucleotides are there in this cyclic amp cyclic amp is known as second messenger it is a second messenger in many biological processes second messenger in many biological processes it is a mediator in hepatic glycogenolysis hepatic glycogenolysis glycogenolysis it is a mediator then cyclic amp mediate the effect of a variety of homo hormones like glucagon adrenaline etc it mediate the effect of a variety of hormones like glucagon adrenaline etc it act as a second messenger in cell then cyclic gmp is there cyclic gmp also has variety of functions like uh, it has role in phosphorylation of protein protein phosphorylation then in vasodilation vasodilation then in the action of neurotransmitters neurotransmitters in all these cases cg uh, that is cyclic gmp has roles then another function of nucleotides is that nucleotides serve as coenzymes coenzymes in cellular signaling and in metabolism these coenzymes include nad plus nadp plus fad fmn coenzyme a etc so nucleotide serves as coenzymes in cellular signaling and in metabolism then uh, synthetic derivatives are there or synthetic analogs this synthetic analogs are useful in the treatment of aids cancer etc examples include allopurinol azathiopurine azathiopurine then azapurine azacitidine then 8 azaguanine 8 aza guanin then 6 thioguanin 6 thioguanin 6 mercaptopurin mercaptopurin etc in this allopurinol it is a purine analog it is an inhibitor of the enzyme xanthin oxidase it inhibits uric acid formation allopurinol is used for the treatment of gout then azathiopurine it is useful in organ transplantation as a suppressor of this immunologic rejection of grafts so organ transplantation it is useful in organ transplantation as a suppressor of immunologic rejection of graft then uh, this six thioguanin six mercaptopurine these are widely used in clinical medicine so these are the uh, synthetic derivatives mostly these are useful in the treatment of cancer aids etc so this is about biologically important nucleotides this is today's topic thank you for watching